Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While the purpose of many word form controls like text fields and drop downs are self explanatory, the repeating section content control in Word may need some additional explanation. This control, into which you insert other types of controls, and which you can also insert around rows in a table, lets the form's user add repeating sections of information to a form. This is useful for collecting a variable number of responses from each user. For example, if you wanted to create a vehicle insurance quote form that lets the user input the make, model, and year of each vehicle they want to insure, you could do that by using the repeating section content control. Since the number of vehicles varies for each form user, you could enter the three fields of make, model, and year into a repeating section content control to let the user input that information as many times as needed to input all of their vehicles. To insert a repeating section content control into a word form, select the form area to enclose within the repeating content control. You can select a row from an underlying table in the form if desired. Then click the Repeating Section Content Control button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon to insert the control around the selected section. Then click the control to select it. Then click the Properties button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon to set the control's properties in the Content Control Properties dialog box. This control has the same default properties as the other form controls in Word. It also has its own unique properties in the Repeating Section Properties area of this dialog box. To let users add and remove these sections in your form, ensure the Allow Users to Add and Remove Sections checkbox is checked. Then enter the title to give to the repeating section into the Section Title field. Then click the OK button in the Content Control Properties dialog box to finish. If needed, you can then click into the repeating section content control to insert any other controls to repeat within this section when a user adds a new section to the form. When users enter data into this form, they can click the small plus sign that appears at the right end of the repeating section content control to add a new copy of the controls in the repeating content control to the form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.